Hey YouTube, what's up? I want to show you a fantastic little item I received today that has newly been released and this is a tiny eeny weeny 1S 3.3 to 6 volt brushed speed controller or winch controller which is powered by the receivers so you won't need a battery or you won't need to plug it to the battery you simply plug it to your receiver and can control a little motor in two directions it's it's really fantastic it says it goes up to 2.7 ampere and it goes from 3.3 to 6 volt what makes it perfect to be powered by a receiver and what do you need to make this little speed controller work what do you need? Of course it will work with all those advanced transmitters like my DX9 I use for my Halis and my planes but that's not the problem. We are talking mainly about cars here and you will need a receiver which has a three position switch. Not only like the GT3C here has this push button, that's not enough. You will need a three position switch like this one or that one, that's my GT3C 8 channel upgraded so it can do a lot, a lot, a lot of things. So it will work with my GT3C, I will show it to you. But what's fantastic, it does also work with my cheap, cheap, cheap Dumbo or Dumbo RC X4. This is a 4 channel transmitter which has two additional switches one only push button but it also has a three position switch here and i will show that it works with the dumbo dumbo rc i paid 16 euros i guess or even less than 16 euros for this four channel transmitter with even six channel receiver but it will not work for example i do also have a hobby king gt2 B, I guess is the name, a three channel transmitter that works with the Flysco receivers, a very nice and very cheap uh, transmitter but it only has a push button, a push switch and no three position switch so you won't be able to use the small speed controller with uh, the Hobby King GT2B. It won't work with those uh, three channel transmitters that do only have a push button for channel three you can use those nicely for switching on and off lights but not to uh, control this speed controller. So now I have connected uh, the small ESC to a Flysky receiver uh, which is coupled or bound to my Flysky GT3C and I will power up uh, the receiver by an external power supply and I put the small speed controller to channel 2 what is normally the channel the speed control for the motor and on channel 1 I did plug in a servo to check if the receiver and the connection works and I coupled the speed controller to a small gear motor that's an Orlando gear motor and I put a little bit of plastic uh, to the shaft to make it easier to see how it runs so now the speed controller and the motor is controlled normally by gas channel 2 so I will power up the Flysky GT3C and power up the speed controller and with normal with channel 2 you see it works normally that's not a big surprise but the fantastic thing is that you can also use a different channel to power the speed controller. And now I've plugged uh, the speed controller to channel 3 and power up uh, the receiver still by an external power supply. And on my Flysky GT3C I have programmed channel 3 to the dual rate three position switch here and check it out now
works fantastically and what's the best with the Flyscat GT3C you can program uh, the buttons to your liking and now I will program this uh, three position switch for dual rate to work as a momentary switch therefore I go to reverse press it for two seconds and we'll go to D the letter for the switch and push it it's channel 3 and now I have B and L and I go to MO what is momentary and go back and back and now check what's on going on now as long as I push it runs to the left direction to the right direction of course I can also reverse the channel if I want so now it's working as a momentary switch so this works fantastically and of course this works also with a real speed controller as power supply for the receiver so therefore I will plug in a normal speed controller that's a Hobbywing 1060 and let's plug in the small nameless speed controller to channel 3 again and let's switch on transmitter and let's switch on the receiver so and now we have uh, normally working servo is working the motor is working and we have a second motor that's working and this tiny motor you could use for example as winch controller in some small cars of course you probably shouldn't use it as a speed controller for a winch in a 1 to 10th scroller or a larger crawler with a lot of weight but for a small RC car or for small operations as winch Roy and there are many other other possibilities it will work fantastically and the best thing is you will not need uh, to plug it to the battery and now I will show you that this even works with this super cheap 16 euro Dumbo Dumbo RC X4 transmitter and receiver channel 3 is a push button and channel 4 is a 3 position switch center left right center so let's see if all this works this with this 16 euro transmitter receiver so let's uh, switch on the Dumbo RC let's switch on the receiver and check servo is working main motor is working too and channel 4 the tiny motor going to the right direction center left direction so it works with the 16 euro system fantastic you cannot change uh, the button here to a momentary switch as I did in the um, Flyscat GT3C so you will have to be it will only work that way you go to the right and the motor will turn to this direction as long as till you push the button to the center position again and if you push it to the left side the motor will turn in the other direction so fantastic I see so many possibilities to use this tiny ESC it's crap cheap you could order this with or without wires of course I ordered it without wires because I love to solder so this is highly recommended if you like to solder and you will need your own wires anyway to make a good wire management then order it without wire it's one dollar cheaper or you can order it already with the wires this tiny speed controller it works fantastic so guys that's it thanks for watching hope this 
was of interest for you and see you in the next video. Ciao, thanks, see you.